Hey everybody, just wanted to go through real quickly how to use your graphing calculator to graph functions and find uh, points that would be on the graph from the table. So, the um, place I always like to start is on the home screen. Um, if you click on the home button and then uh, go ahead and click on new document, uh, it's going to give you this page here. Um, as I showed you, if you have an equation that you want to type in, for example, we use y equals x divided by 2 over 3, and you plug in different values such as uh, negative 2 divided by 2 plus 3, that'll give you your answers. And if you want, you can go ahead and highlight the same equation by pressing the up button. Click enter and the whole thing shifts back down and then you can put in another problem. Again, click all the way up and highlight it and then erase and redo. That's an easy way to get x and y values from a given function. The other thing that we can do is we can go ahead and graph it. So press uh, Control Doc and add graphs. And then you just type it in. So x divided by 2 plus 3 is our equation. Go ahead and press Enter, and you'll see that it gives you this line, this nice linear function. And then what you want to do is you want to press Control T. And Control T gives you the uh, table of values. And so you can see 0, 3 is on the graph. 1, 3.5, 2, 4, and don't forget to do negatives as well. And I'm just going up and down, pressing the up and down buttons so that you can see the different values. If you want to do a new graph, press Control Doc, do a new graph, and then you can type in, say, negative x minus 3, click Enter, there's our graph, and again, press Control T. Now, sometimes you like having that table there, and then sometimes you want it to disappear. If you want it to disappear, click on the graph again. You'll see it kind of highlighted the left screen. And press Control-T again, and it should disappear. And so that's another easy way. Um, if you have graphs, like quadratics, you can type in X, and then you can either use this X squared button to give it X squared, or... If it's like x to the third power or any other power, you can press the caret button, and that'll give you an exponent. And you can type in squared uh, minus 3, click Enter. There's our graph. Press Control T, click Enter, and go up and down. That'll give you your points. Or absolute values. Absolute values is another tricky one. Right here, this button right here is the template for absolute value. And then you can click on the absolute value and do the absolute value of x plus one. Make sure that you button, like press the arrow button to get out of the absolute value because if you do that, that's what your correct graph should look like. If you're careful, or not careful I should say, and you don't get out of the absolute value, you'd have absolute value of x plus one all in the absolute values. It's a much different graph. And so you want to make sure that you see the difference between the two and that you write the correct one in there. Hopefully that helped, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow in class.